Simplex. Yo. Thanks for rolling through. Thanks for having me. Saturday morning. Yeah. Bright and early. <laughs> Another beautiful Adelaide overcast day. <laughs> Cold. Get me out of bed early on a Saturday morning, Got man. Got me out of bed early on a Saturday morning, man. <laughs> well, it's supposed to be more relaxing time. Oh, Chilling. shit. Now, um, look, you've been around, you know, you've been around the traps for a minute. A little bit. Um, originally from Adelaide. Adelaide born and bred. But now in Brisbane. Yeah. Living in Brisbane. So I guess start, you know, start from the beginning. The when, beginning. Yeah. I so. was born. <laughs> <laughs> take us, around for a little bit. Nah. Take, take us to like when you first, I guess, when you first got into hip hop and then when you actually first started writing rhymes and shit like that. First sort of hip hop. This is back in the 80s, man. So I don't think. Would you have been born then? Yeah. 84. 84. So this is probably 88. I got a, a tape from my sister's boyfriend. On one side, it had Public Enemy, Yo Bum Rush's show. Mm. And the other side was NWA. And he gave me that tape. And I played it at school. And it blew everybody's minds, man. We'd never heard it. We'd never heard stuff like that before, man. Swearing and then, like, fuck the police and all that kind of stuff. Do you know what I mean? And then um, and Public Enemy on the other side. And that's probably the, that tape was the thing that, yeah, got me hooked. And then who'd you start listening to, you know, after that? From there, it was just trying to dig up whatever hip-hop you could. Do you know what I mean? Because this is before internet. For fucking I knew about the magazines and stuff like that, you know what I mean? And then there was this Jehovah's Witness kid at my school, and um, he'd found a bunch of tapes on fr someone's front doorstep, and it was like um, pub like three Public Enemy tapes. There was Kill It Will, Ice Cube, um, N.W.A., and like Yo Bum Rush Show, Fear of a Black Planet, and he rocked up to school with these tapes. And he goes, who wants to buy them? And I was like, because oh, I'd already had this other tape. I was like, fuck, I want these tapes. So I went home and he wanted 20 bucks for them. I said to my mum, oh, this guy's got like five tapes for 20 bucks. I need them. And then that, she gave me the 20 bucks. I got those tapes. And then we right. ruined our primary school <laughs> with these tapes. <laughs> so you were in primary school at this stage? Yeah. Wow. It was primary school, but towards the end of sort of primary school. And then was it when you got into high school that you started picking up a pen and you yeah. know, writing your own shit? Yeah, probably around high school, we, we, me and my next door neighbor used to just make up funny rap songs about the dude that lived up the road. So we'd just, <laughs> his name was Is, and we used to call him um, <laughs> And um, <clears throat> yeah, we used to just sit there beatbox and make songs up about the dude up the road. And then I just slowly started penning stuff. Do you know what I mean? Mm. I'd freestyle a lot. That all be fucking shit house. And then, um, yeah, just gradually picked up, found more knowledge in hip hop, started listening to newer stuff and yeah. So who were some of the cats that you started, you know, doing shit with, whether it was writing rhymes or you know, anything music related? Uh, probably, it was dudes from my school, but they didn't really take onto it. This is at Aberfoyle Park High. Yeah, they didn't really get into it much. Do you know what I mean? So around 94, I met up with this dude called Ben Howard. And he went by the name Just Be. And that's when we sort of, end of 94, started 95, we started Terra Firma. And then all we used to do is just freestyle, man. It's just freestyle, we'd make beat tapes. I had a, a record, just drum breaks on it, called Drum Crazy. They used to bring out all these, these records with just drum breaks. And I played guitar over the top of them, just record it on a, a tape player. And then fucking, we'd just sit in parks, drink, and freestyle. Fucking from morning to night to whatever, man. And then we sort of started going out to parties, 
and that's how we sort of met up with like the hood and fucking um, collapse and all that and uh, blockade because they used to freestyle at parties down south and um, and that's how everybody sort of met and certified and that's how that sort of came about because it's just dudes freestyling at a party like hey you freestyle yeah I freestyle fuck it, let's freestyle and I was the only to do that beatbox so I'd sit there and beatbox for fucking two hours straight man just taking breaks just to take a quick sip of a beer and then keep going we got a bunch of dudes just fucking not shutting up. <laughs> the, the, the lesson. Oh, yeah.